I have this little tiny like wait I have a portal that already goes here oh the music just hella changed what is this welcome back my fellow vikings to more valheim 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 i haven't done this in a while <laughs> i don't even think the mic's gonna pick it up like with compression and all that but let's let's give it a, let's give it a try no it's not it's not going to i'll play around with the compression settings <laughs> things were so much easier when i didn't have filters on my mic <laughs> but it, it was still like when I would scream, I would like blow people's eardrums. So that was a problem, but there's something to be said for too much, too much filter. If you guys remember last time, last time we basically did just some black metal gathering. I played around in the tarp pit for a little bit. I do want to go back there and I do want to drain the rest of the tar so I can actually get more comforting things. But what I really want to do is I need to explore just a little bit more. Each episode, I really should be exploring like bit by bit. So that way I could find Yagloose. It's going to be really incredibly difficult. I guess the sea serpent really just scarred me from sailing in open waters recently. And it really shouldn't because I really shouldn't be that scared to go and sail. But that's what we're going to be doing today. What? Who knows what Valheim raids are going to be thrown our way this time. Last time the village uh, fuelings came at us and it was a little jarring for me. I kind of went into like mental shock. <laughs> over it. We have our black forge going, going strong here. I didn't pick up that many black metals, but I did pick up like, I think three stacks. I don't remember. Two stacks at minimum for sure. Okay. We need to do something here. So one thing I, I really have been neglecting to do is I have yet, to, I have yet to build a portal to the altar area. The area that you hang the sacrificial heads on. So I need to do that real quick. It's kind of, I, I've been thinking about changing my motor perk to something else, but I can't because I would have to go all the way over. I'll do it like right here. I think that's a good spot. Now we just got to run all the way back there. <laughs> but if we go all the way back there, it's not going to be a big deal because we'll already have the portal set up. So we'll just, we only need to make this destination trip. We only need to make, we only need to make this trip one time more. I also think I might set up more portals kind of in other places too. Okay. Now that we're here, let's just change it back to Hmm. No, we'll we'll keep this perk for now because we might be sailing. So I don't know. Oh boy, do I sure love this thick fog. Fog is so aggressive in this game. Where do we want to explore? I'm assuming we want to maybe do some exploring right over here because if we go over here, there was more planes onwards to this area. So let's do that. I am nearly at a great door of eyes again. It's so funny how portals will just chew through your great orify cache. We'll call this one planes three. I don't really know what else to call it, but that. Okay, we'll sleep this day away and then we're gonna go journey over to that other area and we're gonna do some exploring. And then we're gonna come back and if we still have time, we're going to farm. And I think I think that's, that's a good call. Like all of that's pretty good. Please don't be rainy. <gasps> Day 200, <laughs> day 200, 200 days in Valheim with no deaths. Can't you believe it? Oh, great. I asked for no rain and then I go off and play in the water. Did you ever think it'd uh, get to this point without dying? Nope, I surely didn't. Oh no, my bonfires went out. I didn't realize I hadn't refueled the fuel. How am I going to see? All right, time to set out. Not for anywhere it's super far away. I just wanna go over here. Honestly, I also have the motor perk. So motor is going to be able to allow me to have the wind at my, at my back for about two minutes. So if we do happen to run into a sea monster, I'm feeling pretty confident that we don't have to worry. I would like to take the sea monster back to shallow ground though. If we get, if we get lucky, if we get lucky enough, maybe we'll be fortunate enough to find an island. That could be really nice too. A floating island. Uh, they're more colossal beasts than islands, but you know, Potato, potato. We don't have to talk about it. I think with this battle axe, this uh, black metal axe, I think I can cut 
material in Mistlands, if I remember correctly. That was what I was missing before, was this axe. And then I'm tempted. I'm so tempted to go to the outskirts of the Mistlands and just like farm for, for rabbits and material. I'm like really tempted. But doing that in your zero death world is literally tickling fate. And we've talked all about tickling fate, you know? I'm so good at it, but I probably shouldn't do it that often. You know what though? Fingers crossed that the next place we go to in the plains, we just happen to find Yagluth's location, you know? But my idea is that we basically do a little bit of exploring each day. We really haven't explored any further out, but if we could just like slowly chip away at the map bit by bit, like each episode, we'll know where everything's at and have just like portals to everywhere. Okay, so I I do remember coming over here to get some material and metal. I was like, I don't even remember like uh, 10 episodes ago. So I do remember coming here. See, I have this little tiny like, wait, I have a portal that already goes here. Oh, that's awkward, isn't it? I'm gonna have to take down the portal, the mountains to the mountains to area. That's funny. I, I didn't realize I set up a portal over here. Dang it. Oh, well, we're here anyways. So what I probably need to do is mark this as a portal. <laughs> All right, we'll do just a bit of exploring and go get back our rusted buff back. Oh, fog. Yes, I've wanted it to be foggy. The fog is just merciless sometimes. You know, though, it might be good to have two portals set on the same island because when you really think about it, what happens if one of those portals are destroyed, you know, and you're in a tight pinch? Also a lot of mountain area here. What a nice little tar pit. I'm glad the fog is relenting. I, a couple of you guys also agreed with me about the fog that it, it has been aggressive since the Mistlands update. And sometimes like the fog cycles are just, again, like I said, relentless. This is a massive plains biome. Lots of tar pits. Also another swamp. This, this island might be really hard to explore because of how big it is. This is such a massive island already. A level three skeleton. That's that's nice. Sirtling core areas too. Oh, I don't want to get wet. Dang it. All right, let's head back. I don't feel comfortable with the without the rested buff with being wet. Sounds like a dangerous combination, doesn't it? We could make like a little tiny mini base here, right here, like on the mountains. I'd rather make a mountaintop mini base. I'm sorry, not mini base, but a, yeah. I don't mind making a little rest stop right between the mountains and the plains. So maybe, you know what? Maybe I'll make it around this portal. This might be a good rest stop then. Oh, that's, that's a troll. The troll heard me from all the way over here. That's lovely. Yeah, back off, butter. Butter. Brutter. I have no stamina. I have like no stamina. <laughs> okay, I got him. Ooh, wow, what a shot. All right, we're good though. I'm gonna make a couple of chests. I can't transport with the black metals. Maybe I should bring my boat over here. Seems like a safer spot for the boat. All right, all right, all right. Maybe we'll just do like little bits and pieces at a time. Where was that mountain? I have a mountain two portal. Where did I put that portal? This is plains. This is cave. This is caves. This is swamp two. Oh no, I think it's far. We'll just leave it. It's not a big deal. Can't be care Can't be too careful with more portals. I'm a little worried about the boat though. I think I'll go destroy my boat and then put the materials in the chest. And then when I need it, I'll come back to this spot and then make a boat. And then it's better to hold on to the material from the boat than to lose it and then have to remake all that material. <gasps> Day 201. Day 201. Let's go get our boat. Hopefully it's still there. Fingers crossed. I want to also go change my perk back to Ikther. If we're doing exploring, I don't really want motors perk equipped. Or, or we could put on Bone Mass's perk. Because his perk is that we take less, we're basically like more resistant to like Pierce. I can't remember the other ones, but like maybe Poison. 
I mean, it does take a lot to break that boat. I think, we, yeah, we got all the material for it. So we got the, the fine wood, ancient uh, bark, and iron nails. Dang, that is just so much material. Would have been a real shame to actually lose that. Oh, that was really nice to just instantly travel here. I know you guys said it was such a good idea before. Hold on. Damage modifier resistant to blunt slash and pierce. Hmm. That might be super nice. Ike Thier is just really nice because it allows me to get... It, it allows me to get out of tricky situations by instantly hitting it and then going. But yeah, you guys were talking about making the portals and I was sitting here like, uh, but I would have to run all the way back there. It's so funny because when I need it, it's so inconvenient. But when I don't need it, it's even more inconvenient to go set the portal up. Oh, we have, don't even have fires in here. Our number one priority right now is to go explore the plains and figure out if maybe Yagluth is closer than we think. I usually expect Yagluth to be pretty far out. Oh, geez, scared me. A lot of stone here. I could sail a bunch of stone back. This could be a really nice place to set up another base too. Like base number four. Oh, wow. Fueling village much? Oh, geez. I didn't realize I was so close to the tar. Can I kill the tar beasts and then just pull some of that tar out? It looks like some of that tar is just on the surface. Can I get the tar to kill the fuelings? I'm gonna kill death skeetos when I can because these guys will just creep up behind me and I will never know that they're here. I think that the tar creatures are fighting each other. Okay, great. Well, now you guys can just kill each other and then I can go pick up all the tar left behind. All right, they are pretty fast. Oh, geez. Ow! Holy crap. Oh yeah, and they poison you when they hit that. Okay, that makes more sense. I was sitting here like, I swear they do more than just tar you. They poison you too. Yes, this was what I was looking for. I was looking for just like surface level tar because I didn't want to have to dig out another tar pit. This is way more than the other one gave me. Oh, I love when the loxes just appear out of nowhere. Oh, also they're not loxes. They're lox eye. <laughs> so sorry for my mispronunciation. At this point, you guys know me by now though. They're they're called they're called noodle is what I've heard when I just kind of sit here and make up my own words. Not on purpose. It's truly just because my brain processes words differently. And I don't know why. Noodleisms. Um, I think I've talked about noodleisms, my noodleisms before, but there's a word that I like to say. I like to say bloatation a lot. It's like a cross between a flotation device and bloated. And so I, I use it synom synonymously to bloated. So I'm usually like, oh man, my bloatation is so bad. And then someone had to actually point out to me the other day. They go, that's not a real word. I go, what word? They're like, bloatation. It's not a real word. Word. And I'm, I just, sometimes the things that I say really do match my hair color. <laughs> you know, maybe I should hug the, like the water and then just see how big it is from there. Also, is it even, is it getting dark again? Didn't I just pass a day already? Are they on a tar pit right now? Their fueling camp is on a tar pit right now. Are there no tar pit monsters? I'm gonna get a little closer just for closer inspection. They are literally on a tar pit. I think they've killed the creatures in there. All right, we're gonna hug the coast as we go back. Well, it's like not nighttime yet, but I feel like by the time I get back, it will be nighttime. There's like a little thing over here though. I do want to check this out. A little structure. Maybe this has the location of Yagluth. More tar pits. Dang, this, this, this plains biome is massive. Whoa. Oh, the music just hella changed. What is this? There's like nothing special about this little rock thing, but the music changed super hard. Ooh, that was so spooky. I did not like that. Look, literally the other, that's the island that I come from. So it's literally just across the way. Ooh, more tar pits. Oh, it seems like the death mosquitoes don't like the tar creatures. I personally don't like the tar creatures either all that much. Actually pretty scary. There's actually a lot of tar creatures, so let's not mess with those guys. Okay, well, let's, we're also going to make our way back. See, watch, the music is going to change like right now. Like, am I, am I on a crypt? Oh my God, you scared the crap out of me. See, they just come out of nowhere. I hate them. I have like PTSD from these guys. Also, I don't really want to be out at night because the feelings come out at night. More tar. <laughs> yeah, the plains biome I stumbled across 
is like a quarter of this size entirely. Oh my gosh, I wandered so far away from my portal. Um, next episode, I'm gonna make another portal on the opposite. I'm just gonna keep making like gradual portals through the plains. I don't wanna have to like run to this portal every single time I need to come back home. I should just have like portals nearby at all times. Porta portals, Port portable portals, yeah. I mean, this is a pretty big amount of exploration that we did though. Those locks appearing out of nowhere are kind of uh, put a little bit of a wrench in my plan here. All right, portable home. Oh, sweet portable home. Honestly, that was a pretty good adventure sesh. More tar and I opened up the map a little bit more on this side. So I'm thinking we, we could just do like this whole area. We explore this whole area and just slowly, slowly but surely because if we try to take on the entire exploration and just go immediately searching for Yagluth, I feel like we're that's how we're gonna end up dying. But if we just like slowly discover island and island and then I think we'll will be will be great day 202 i wanted to say 102 but day 202 so you guys said something about the axe you either said something about the battle axe or you said something about hmm it had to have been the battle axe but i can't exactly get the battle axe because i don't have i don't have silver dude silver is like the worst of mine i'm gonna say it i would actually rather mine black metal than silver silver is literally like they made it so difficult to mine for silver for no reason let's see about getting our uh, some things oh actually i need i need my my cultivator tool but maybe maybe i can still use the axe to chop more of the crops you know like the swinging motion might be better than picking it i mean let me try it out oh i mean i mean it works right it's just one way to do it <laughs> it's kind of fun wait let me see I pick up two flax here, and when I do this, I pick up two flax. So wait, let me just make sure. Two flax. Two flax. Okay, so yeah, it does. I was getting kind of nervous because of the ones that was just falling away. Dude, this is so much easier. I've never used- I've never farmed like this. This seems so chaotic. <laughs> It honestly feels so disrespectful to just be, yep, let me return to my farming chores. It just like picks up more than one, or I'm sorry, it swings at more than one. And it's so much faster. Me having to look at each individual flax and then just stare, look, click, stare, click, stare, click, versus just wildly swinging and auto picking up is so nice. Now, if there's just a way to plant them easier, then we can have a system down. Okay, yeah, farming always takes a bit, takes a bit longer than expected, but I've been trying to keep in more time lapses now that the quality, the camera editing quality has gone up a little bit. So that way you don't just see my face in the corner doing like a bunch of blinking hysterically. And no, I will not ever do that motion ever again. <laughs> uh, hopefully these time lapses are pretty nice because it just kind of goes, it just kind of shows you, oh my God, stop climbing over each other. It kind of just shows you guys how much I actually do in an episode without, you know, sometimes commentary. I've been trying to do that a little bit more and have a little bit more to show you guys because sometimes I'll just go long spurts without saying anything. So I still want you guys to see what I'm doing. So hopefully those time lapses, lapses are, are, are super nice. I like watching them. I like watching time lapses, especially when it's something super satisfying. Also, did you just see me skim all the way down the stairs? <laughs> Look at that. Our little tiny base is growing more and more each day more portals more more ship more lens to explore it's funny because i feel like we've done so much and then you look at the map and you just see how how tight we've been playing and tight meaning like I, i'm not taking any chances so you see like tons of things are marked on my map i have like a million portals sometimes i have double portals for no reason and then you go out though and you see that i haven't done any like 
venturing out whatsoever and that I've only maybe I'm just fortunate enough to have everything I need in close proximity which most people don't get that fortunate most people don't have like look plains mountain black forest meadows and swamp they're all literally adjacent to each other right here so maybe not a lot of people have or are as fortunate as i am when it comes to biomes and such but that's gonna be it for me today thank you guys for joining me on another episode of valheim we're up to like 50 plus episodes which is actually insane someone commented one time um when they were reviewing my channel they were like holy crap this is a lot of valheim i see valheim only channels and they have this much Valheim on there, but for a variety channel to have a 50 series episodal, episodal might be a Kenzie's, or sorry, noodleism. It's crazy to have a, a channel that does variety content all the way up to 50 episodes on a one particular series. So it's huge. I can't wait till we get to 100. Maybe we'll do something so fun at level or day 100. Wait, I'm sorry, episode 100. Maybe we do like a like a build challenge. Maybe I do my own build challenge. Leave your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you Vikings in tomorrow's video. Mwah.